Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I decided to do something a little bit different. So, since this channel is pretty much new, I decided to um, show you guys, or tell you guys a little bit about me. So I'm doing a Q&A. Um, uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. most common question is when did I get my diagnosis and how long did it take so I was diagnosed with CRPS we'll talk about CRPS um, a little over a year ago um, in January of 2018 and it took only about a month and I was really that's actually um, I was really lucky that it only took about a month or two because my physical therapist, she knew what CRPS was, and so she had an idea, and then my orthopedic surgeon, he agreed with her on that. So, I was pretty lucky. The next question is, do I miss school a lot because of my illnesses? And I don't miss, miss as much school as most people would think. Um, I miss at least a day of school a week. But, um, it's usually, like, I'll have an appointment that's during the school day, and I have to leave school, and then I'll come back, depending on, like, what time it is, and things like that. Um, but, I miss a good amount of school, and, um, I'm usually allowed to have time, like, extra time to finish my work, but, um, I try not to use the extra time I have because I just feel like I don't always need it, and I'm really lucky for that. Oh, but I am kind of nervous for next year because I'm starting high school, and there's going to be a lot more work, so I might have to start a special program that will excuse me from all my absences, because if I am absent a lot next year too, then that can cause a lot of problems on my permanent record. So, yeah. The next question is, how do I stay positive? I would have to say by focusing on what I enjoy and what I love, my friends, family, sports, activities, um, and just focusing on the good. But ov obviously it's not as easy as I make it seem. Another question is, do I have a hard time concentrating in school? And Mostly I don't, but I do spend a lot of time in the nurse, like, I go there every day and spend a lot of time there. The next question is what caused my CRPS? So, and how I fractured my ankle about two years ago, it was 2017, three, two, two years ago, and um, then I developed something called ankle impingement, which is extra bone growth, and so then I had pinching like muscles and things and so then I had surgery and the surgery is what caused the CRPS. The next question is how has your diagnosis improved your life and this is a really interesting question because most people they think oh my gosh my life is like ruined and it's going straight downhill from here ever since I get my diagnosis. No, there are some positives and um, it really teaches you to be strong and how to face what is right in front of you and keep going. You have to keep going. <laughs> and, yeah. At school, we have PE every day, and so there are some people asking me if I have to do PE. And PE is physical education, and so you're being physical. And I have to modify everything, and I spend a lot of time in the nurse instead of doing PE because I can't do most things. Um, and it really depends on what it is. Uh, I can swim, but I can't run. So like on Fridays, there's something called the cougar run because our mascot is the cougar. And so you have to like run or walk a lot. And I can't do that because it will put me in a flare up for the rest of the day and I pee in the morning. So that won't be good. So um, I swim instead. And like right now I think we're doing basketball. So I'm just like in the nurse and 
Oh, and we, um, <laughs> we did a unit, or we are doing it like a nutrition unit, and due to like my stomach issues, like, I can't really participate in some of like the food logs that we're doing, and so it's kind of, you know, yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> I get asked a lot um, what my favorite distractions are or what do I do like when I'm in a flare up and um, mine are any sort of distraction, anything that will get my mind off of it. And for me, the main one would be TV, like just watching TV, um, playing games, sometimes reading. Most of the time I can't really concentrate. When reading, um, listening to music, hanging out with friends, talking, you know. And then here are a few like basic questions that people ask me that like aren't medical related or anything like that. What is my favorite animal? It's a chimpanzee, always has been, always will be. Um, my favorite color is mint green, kind of like this color, sort of, yeah. Um, my favorite, like, weather. I love the snow and rain, anything cold. Um, yeah, that's, yeah. Oh, what do I want to be when I'm, like, job-wise? I want to be a pediatric surgeon and maybe be in orthopedics. I'm not sure about exactly which, like, sub-specialty, but I know I want to be a pediatric surgeon. Um... Another really common question is, will I need a feeding tube? And um, in case you don't know, a feeding tube is like a tube that is either sticked into your stomach or there's a, like an NG, NJ, and D, which the N stands for like nasal or nose. That So it's like a tube that goes up your nose, down through your esophagus into your like different parts of your intestines or your stomach. And it is used to like push nutrition formulas to like feed you and um due to all my abdominal issues i'm losing weight because i'm always nauseous and a lot of early satiety and different things that aren't fun so um we're not at the point where i need a feeding tube yet and um but it could be a possibility in the future but we're still trying different medications and um like pediasure and things like that that i'm still trying so i can gain weight and gain nutrition but at the moment i'm not gaining weight i'm losing still so we're working on that so another question is what are all of my chronic illnesses so i have a few that aren't really super big pretty common um and then i have a few that are more on the rare side of things so i have crps um which kind of was my first one that and then um i also have osteoporosis paresis it does yeah that counts as a chronic illness i think yeah it does um and that is from the crps i also have tendonitis but i don't know if that counts but it's in my shoulder and i have had that for a while actually um, also RLS, restless leg syndrome, um, that one's pretty common. Um, it's kind of where your leg just kind of jerks out or any part of your body it could be your arm too, I guess. I don't know too much about that one. I just know that I have it a lot. Um, POTS, postural orthostatic tachycardia. So a lot of times I get super dizzy and blackouts and, um, I have passed out and, and, um, like, when I stand up, my blood pressure drops and my heart rate, like, skyrockets super high. And, um, not enough blood is getting to my head. And that one's common, I think. It's common. When, like, you search it up on the web, I think it says common on it. Yeah. Um, I also have, um, GERD. I used to say GERD. Wait, is it GERD or GERD? I don't know. Um, like acid reflux. And I don't get the heartburn, I just get like the acid reflux that like burns my throat really bad. And then I possibly have gastroparesis. I haven't been diagnosed, but because of all my stomach problems, we're not 
sure what it is that's causing all these symptoms that I'm having, but we're figuring that out. And I think our next step is a gastric emptying test. So for distraction, since I like to watch TV, that's one of my favorite things to help me with my pain. I get a lot of questions about what shows I'm watching and what are some of my favorite shows. So I think I have to say my top favorite show is Grey's Anatomy. And yeah, if you haven't heard of that, then you are not from this planet because it's like the best show in the world. I love Friends, How I Met Your Mother, um, The Mindy Project, Scrubs, ER. I like a lot of medical shows now that I think about it <laughs> but yeah um I also get asked what my favorite music to listen to is and um I like uh like pop but more acoustic pop I guess I don't really know what it is not folk well maybe I don't know I'll actually I'll try to link my play my Spotify playlist down below for you guys to see like but yeah, I'll link that below. I also get asked, uh, I can't talk. I also get asked a lot what spoons are. And spoons are, um, they're used in the Chronic Illness Society as like a way of talking about the amount of energy you have. For example, if you have like 12 spoons in one day um, and like taking a shower uses up two of your spoons then you have 10 more spoons for the rest of your day kind of stuff like that and once you use all of your spoons then you're out of energy but actually i posted uh something about spoons on instagram and it kind of created some debate about if they're really good for us to use because it kind of blocks us from making progress is what some commented and i was like oh yeah it does like once we reach our limit of spoons it kind of we're like hey I don't have to do anything else today but um, then someone told me about the way that they use spoons is they add them up throughout the day and they want to like beat their record from before and I was like wow that's a really good way to do it so I'm also asked about gymnastics a lot I just got back into gymnastics and um, before I was ever injured I was in something called Excel which is like team it is team um, where like you compete in things, but instead of having a strict routine on each event, you kind of get to like make up your own or add like a twist to it or kinda, you know, different things like that. Um, so that's Excel and I was in Excel Gold, I think, before I got injured. Yeah, Excel Gold. And that's technically what I'm in now. I just can't do everything because I'm still getting my skills back, I think. But that's kind of like, I think it's around level five, six which means I can do like a round off back, hamstring back tuck, although obviously I can't do that. I used to be able to, but hopefully I'll have that back by who knows when, I don't know. I'm making progress right now. And so that's exciting. And then here are just a few random facts about me. So um, first of all, I'm getting my braces off in two weeks, I think, a little less than two weeks now. And so I'm excited because I've had my braces on for like four years now so yay um also my favorite kinds of movies are romantic comedies and that's really weird for a 14 year old to say but i love them like old romantic kind of like sleepless in seattle um uh, i also get asked a lot what like procedures i have had done um i only had that actually that's not true i had a few surgeries um i've had one surgery for my foot that caused the CRPS. I also had a tooth surgery right after that. Um, it doesn't relate to anything. I just like, they put a dead person's bone in my gum after they removed my tooth because there was no adult tooth under my baby tooth. So the baby tooth was like sinking in my gum. So then I'll get like an implant later, right in a fact. Um, I also have glasses, but I usually wear contacts. Oh, that was off topic. And um, I had an endoscopy like a month ago did like check and everything was clear so that's great that yeah so that's everything i have for you guys today thanks for watching this video and getting to know me and i'll see you next time uh don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to my channel bye